Manifold gauge is an important equipment in HVAC. A manifold gauge is required for many repairing processes in HVAC. Therefore, knowing how a manifold gauge works is very important. So, in this video, we will know how manifold gauge works. We can measure the pressure of refrigerant in AC unit by manifold gauge. It is used not only for refrigerant pressure measurement, but also for vacuuming and adding refrigerant. It has two gauges, one is low pressure gauge, and the other is high pressure gauge. And there will be two on off valves. In this, blue color is low pressure gauge, red color is high pressure gauge. By operating the on off valves, we can control the refrigerant flowing in this gauge. It has hoses in three colors, namely, blue, yellow, and red. The blue hose goes to the low pressure gauge. The red hose goes to the high pressure gauge. And yellow hose is common to both gauges. Manifold is the name of this part, which connects all these hoses and gauges. This is the sight glass, through which, the refrigerant flow can be seen. This sight glass is not available in all gauges. If you need sight glass, check and buy while buying gauge. At the back side of the gauge, you can see three dummy connections. When we are not using the gauge, we can keep the hoses connected to it. With this, the inside of the hose can be kept clean, without dust. Now let's see how it works. This is the cross-sectional image of manifold gauge. This is low pressure gauge. This is high pressure gauge. This is the on off valve in the low pressure gauge. This is the on off valve in the high pressure gauge. This is the blue hose, this is the yellow hose, and this is the red hose. The blue hose and red hose are directly connected to the gauge. Yellow hose is connected in common to both. By controlling the on off valve, the yellow hose can be used for low pressure or high pressure gauge. For example, after connecting the blue or red hose to the unit, the refrigerant will travel through the hose to the gauge. Through this, you can know the pressure of refrigerant. Now, when you open the on off valve, refrigerant will start going to the recovery cylinder through the yellow hose. This is how the refrigerant is discharged from the unit. To charge the refrigerant in the unit, connect the yellow hose to the refrigerant cylinder and connect the blue hose to the low pressure side of the unit and when you open the valve, the refrigerant will go from the cylinder to the unit. This is the basic working details of manifold gauge. If you have any doubts, please ask in the comments section. In subsequent videos, how to charge the refrigerant, how to vacuum and how to check the pressure of the refrigerant can be seen continuously. If the video is useful, please like the video and subscribe to our Zebra Learnings English channel. Thank you.